know, with our public engagement campaign, the primary feedback from the community when it came to equity was, uh, or lack thereof, was housing. So, um, you know, due to multiple reasons, uh, urban renewal, redlining, uh, gentrification, housing prices in the area are skyrocketing. Uh, it's displaced a lot of people. So, you know, Asheville has a long history of black culture and black neighborhoods. Uh, and these black neighborhoods for you know, generations have contributed to the, the culture here. And this piece, um, I want to acknowledge uh, that history, but also acknowledge the history of, you know, tragedies like uh, redlining and urban renewal, and what they've done and devastated these communities, but provide a optimistic future. And, you know, projects like this, I hope, uh, you know, help in that process. So the center of the piece, we have the bird's nest. We have a house within. Uh, you can see there's two uh, birds here. These are actual indigenous uh, red-winged blackbirds. So you got the male here, which is very colorful, almost like it's on fire. It's distinct uh, red splotches on the front of its wings are an indicator of the species. And then here, uh, you have a female. And I wanted to show a mating pair, because um, that represents family. And so these two birds uh, are building a nest with the help. At the bottom here, you have actual two hands. It's almost like a first person view. That's kind of a call to action for the rest of Asheville to help in keeping these homes intact. Um, the tree itself represents genealogy family. Um, the house is pretty literal. So the coin also represents the history of the block, uh, black business, the legacy of that, but also um, reparations. I went to a reparations committee meeting while I was here for our community engagement, learned a lot about that to understand what, um, you know, what the community thought the money could be put towards to actually have a long-term benefit. Um, even the plant species here, which is kudzu, not native to the area, but it's flourishing. Um, and to me, like, you know, there's, you know, Afri the African-American community, community it, it, it wasn't necessarily from the U.S., but it was forced to be here on, you know, for whatever reasons, uh, whether it was slavery or or whatever, and, and now it's flourishing and it's contributed so much to the area. So um, that was the kudzu meeting there. And um, and yeah, and then back to the banners, that really puts it home. All these neighborhoods that I uh, learned so much about in my community engagement uh, campaign here, just attending different talks and, and talking to folks, um, that, that will all be uh, represented here in the banners. And I, I got a shout out, uh, you know, my three apprentices, Ray, Isla, and Ariel, they really helped engage the community. Um, I couldn't have got all the uh, wonderful feedback just on my own.